Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's uh, Monday the 7th of July 2025. I hope you are keeping well. Looking forward to the week ahead. Uh, much of the reaction about Trump's tariffs is uh, kind of... Um, looked at major economies, you know, like the EU and Canada and, and Australia, those kind of countries that have very large economies anyway, but doesn't didn't really focus so much on the punitive effects of Trump's uh, tariffs on smaller economies. Oh, cat's coming to make a comment uh, on smaller economies and countries that really rely heavily on exports and in particular to the US, such as Thailand, where I'm based. And of course, we are concerned that it could have a major effect on the economy uh, if uh, if these uh, tariffs, which are currently on pause, I believe, uh, go through. Anyway, let's hear the uh, great communicator, Donald Trump, and let's hear his actual words. Uh, he was asked whether the 90-day pause on tariffs uh, set to end on 9th of July will go into effect this week or on the 1st of August. His answer is this. No, they're going to be tariffs. The tariffs. The tariffs are going to be the tariffs. I think we'll most uh, we'll have most countries done by July the 9th. Yeah, either a letter or a deal. This man is a, such a moron. I mean, it's just ridiculous that this person could be the leader of a country. This man should never have been the leader of a business. It's only that he inherited it. Should never have been the leader of his own body, I think. <laughs> it's just he has the intelligence of a flea. And I think some fleas might challenge that uh, assertion all right shall we get on with our anyway let's hope uh, he um let's hope he um, um um forgets all about it or something like that which he might do i mean you know he's very doddery let's uh, begin with our game of sudoku the new york times hard level sudoku puzzle which seems to be published a little bit earlier than than i thought today i thought i'll click on the game get prepared for when it normally publishes uh, but it, it came out a bit early this morning so there's something get a chance to play this and then go out and do some things that I've got to do today. You're right, we've got twos blocking like this. That will give me a two uh, in that square there, of course. <clears throat> we've got eights blocking down here and there and across there. So we'll have an eight in that square. And... Threes across here and there. I'll try to be a bit more observant today. I know I've missed, uh, recently I've missed some very easy looking things, but I'll try to uh, buck my ideas up if I can. <coughs> I've seen a three in this square here. Have you seen the three in this square here? I think so. Anyway, let's see. We've got threes blocking like this and like this. So that puts threes in those squares, right? We've got three across here and up here, so that puts threes in those squares there. And we've got three blocking up here and down here, so that puts threes in these squares here. So you can see that the only two possibilities in this uh, section here uh, are here or here, and we've got three in one of those squares so there, so that's why that must be the three. <coughs> Excuse me. Four blocks down this way, this way, and across there. Oh, I was about to say I don't think we have any nines on the board, but we do. There's a nine up there. I was just thinking I can't see any nines, but I can see, I can in fact see one. Uh, 
if you, if my microphone was picking up background sounds, you would be able to hit my cat kicking the cat litter. <clears throat> I've mentioned before on this channel, he's a world champion in, in putting cat litter f as far away from the box as it can possibly go. He kicks and kicks and kicks so that it makes sure it goes right across the room. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, I hear you, cat. Okay, seven across this way, seven across that way. There's a seven. Four blocking across here, so four in one of these squares blocking across, and the four up there will give us four in that square. Four up here, up there, means that that's a four. Seven blocking this square and this square. So in the top row, there's our seven. Eight blocks this square. There's the eight and the one finishes this top row. Seven down here, down there, for a seven in that square. Seven across here, across there. Seven down here gives me seven in this square. Eight blocking across here. Eight must be in one of these squares. That can't be eight. Eight blocking down there means that that's an eight there. Yes, cat, yes. I'll stroke you in a minute. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Eight blocking up here, eight across there. I told you the cat is a is a critic of my playing Sudoku, but I'll just have to suffer for a short time. Yeah, I won't be playing the game for long this time. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know I make a lot of mistakes. Be quiet. One blocking down here, one up there, that gives me a one in that square. One across here and one across there means that's a one. Uh, 
what's missing down here? Four, six, nine, is it? I think we've got four here and there. So there's the four. And I guess six, nine goes there. And this then will be two and five in those squares. Go away, cat. Go, go up, go up, go up. Had to chase away my critic. I lost my thread. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, are we looking for three, six, nine in these squares? I think we might be. Three, six, nine. Yes, we are. And three and six are together. So that's our nine. And nine blocking this square will give us nine here. And the last number to go there is six, I think. Okay, three up here, three down there. There's a three, three across this way, three up here, and three in one of those squares there blocking down gives me three in that square. Oh, there's a six missing from that column there. How about that? Six across there, there's a six. Three blocking up there, there's a three. Last number to go, there's a four. Four down here, four across there, there's a four. Uh, that's the last digit, four. Four and eight are done, by the way. Uh, I can get this, can't I? What goes here? We're looking for five and six in those squares, I think. So this is going to be a nine. Six blocking up there, there's our six. The missing number to go there is a nine. The missing number in this row is a nine. Nine blocking down and across here and across there says you are nine. <coughs> five blocks this square, so in this row there's our five. This would be a two, still need a two there. Two across there, two down here, there's two.
two down here, two up there. There's a two, the last digit two, in fact. Three blocking up, oops, up here and across there. There's a three. Okay, that's finished. Five blocking down here. There's a five, five across there. There's another five. Five down here, down there. There's a five and five across there. It gives me five there, five up here, five across there. There goes a five missing number here is a one. Last number to get in this column, nine, I think. And nine across here and nine up there. There's a nine. Uh, the last number for the column here is one, one across there. There's our one missing number there, seven. Missing there is a seven. Uh, here we're looking for a six. We still need a six there, six blocking down. There's a six. And one finishes the game, so a very straightforward game. Nothing too cryptic at all there from the New York Times. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.